really great feature of the IP Office system is its ability to link to another IP Office system and they both act as one. Uh, this is a feature that used to be called small community networking but is now called uh, simply voice networking. And it's really simple to set up. Uh, all you need to do is first ensure that your voice networking licenses are applied to the system. Uh, you'll get these from Avea. They're very easy to set up. They're very easy to add once you've got them. Once you've applied your licenses to the system, all you need to do is select line and right click in your center pane and select new H323 line. Ensure that the number of channels that you've got are equal to the licenses that you've got. Now these licenses come in blocks of four. So if you have two sets of four then eight licenses for, for eight channels between sites. Once you've done that, go to your VoIP settings tab and enter the gateway IP address. This is the IP address of the other IP office system that you're going to connect to. Ensure that under supplementary services, IP office STN is selected and simply hit OK. Repeat this on the other system except on the gateway IP address put this system's IP. Select OK and reboot both units. Once the units have come back on, you'll be able to see the changes. You'll be able to see the directory entries from the other system in your directory. You'll also be able to call any extension on the other system, although it was on your own. If you need to locate the IP address of your system, Simply navigate to System on the left hand side, select IP Office and select LAN 1. And this should show you System's IP address for you to input on the other controller for your small community networking. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on Avea voice networking. However, if you have any further queries or you'd like to book a free demo, please feel free to get in touch with us.